G'day. Um, so I wanted just to just, um, have a bit of a chat about some things that I've noticed um, in the last uh, few months or so, you know, and it it goes into um, you know spiritual. What's what is spiritual? And it's the question that I've been asking myself as well. I've been asking it. To, to myself because I've got a lot of people around me at the moment with um, you know I've met a lot of people that have have all these ideas of what spirituality is and what spiritual actually is and um, I don't know it seems to be that seems to be a lot of people that come into my life and, and they they seem to be trying to get me to believe I don't know that they are more spiritual than me or more um, I don't know I can't quite put my finger on it I guess but what I've realized is, you know, some people, there's all different aspects and, and, and religions and, and um, belief systems and, and cultures and, you know, all of these different aspects of a greater whole. So they're all different. Everything is different. It's, it's, it's all expansive. From what I can see is, well, everything, the, user, the universe, if you wanted to put a label on it and say, well, what's the universe's job? The physical reality of the universe, what is it, what is it doing? Well, it's expanding. It's, it's expanding out. And I could say growth, but I'd, I'd have to say that growth would probably be not the best word because expansion is growth and is rest as well you know and it's it's the way our life works we we grow and then we reflect and we rest and we learn to nurture and you know things that um, I don't know, aren't, aren't quite as valued as what they probably should be in the world at the moment which is which is that expansion you know ex expand and open your mind and learn to rest your mind you know you learn to, to challenge your mind and to um to learn new things but also learn how to rest it how to quiet it how to bring it back to back to this to the present and there's so many different aspects of what people call spirituality and they all put labels on it and they all say well I'm more spiritual than you and you're you know you need to listen to me because I'm more spiritual Ooh, you know so to me to define it is to lose what it is and we are individually all as one you know individually we are uh, a piece and what we call us, ourselves, our body, our mind, our personality, and then the world around us. You know, that's it's they're all pieces. They're all pieces of, of an expansive universe. The world's expanding. We we're growing to we're learning and we're learning how to look after our bodies better. We're learning how to how to how to look after our minds better. Which is not to fill our minds with more shit, you know. It it's we learn to quiet our minds and we we let go of the stuff. You know, letting go is is you know can be the the missing link, I suppose. That then what what we it goes against what we've been taught to let go to 
you know, to surrender to, um, you know, a higher power, for lack of a, for, for whatever word you want to use for that, higher power, the oneness, the, um, uh, there's, there's so many different words for it. None of them are right or wrong. That's what I'm trying to say. There's no, there's no right or wrong word for these things. It is what it is for you. And individually, as an individual, as your experience expands, if that's what you choose it to do, it expands outward and you might want to, you might want to have the realization that you are more than the body and the mind, you know, you might want that, that experience to know that. And to be open to that, you know, you might want that. You might, you might, um, you know, you might be happy where you are at the moment, right now. And maybe you might, might be okay just to just to be where you are right now, and just to let go of any striving, any need to be any different than what it is. And maybe come into a place of acceptance. Accept that possibly there's a deeper, a deeper sense. There's a deeper sense that's there. It's deeper than, I guess, a lot of ideas and things. And like ideas and, and, and concepts and, you know, different... Uh, Directions you want to go is great. It's a lot of stuff. To me, it, it seems, for me personally, in my experience, a lot of there's a lot of stuff that's involved in in these concepts. And for me personally. I just prefer to be at peace. Like, yeah, these there's some great expansive ideas and, and there's so many, you know, there's there's plenty of people out there that are willing to, to, to tell you these ideas, etc. And you know, you try the ideas and and they might work or they might not work. Either way, it's it is okay sometimes to just let go of the need for that too. And to trust, you know, to trust your internal guidance, regardless of what other people say. Sometimes it is okay just to, just to be yourself, as they say. Just be yourself. And you can recognize that all of those parts of what's called the ego or you know the when you, you you talk about thought patterns and emotional patterns around your identity all of those patterns and things that, that arise in each moment whether they're triggers they're triggered by situations or people are all interchangeable talk about reprogramming the subconscious and you know these these all these ideas and there is no right and wrong in which direction you go the the direction that you go is the direction you go it's quite simple if it's if you if you're moving in a direction it's the direction you're moving in isn't it there's no need to justify it to other people. There's no need to even justify it to yourself. If you're moving in that direction, that's okay. It's quite simple. And it, it goes into some of those ideas of um, you know, what I call the soul. Our soul is guiding us in every, every single moment every single moment it's guiding us to what where is it guiding us 
What is it that we want the most? What's in our energy? What are we attracting? What are we attracting into our life? And what are we resisting? For me, the soul is what I what I've said it in previous videos that I like to call it a dichotomy. So it's it's an actual fact. A dichotomy is one thing, but it is also two things. So it's both. So to explain that in a, I like simple, I like simple. It's just, um, that's just my choice. I like simple. And to explain it simply is the body and the mind exist within the soul. The awareness, you know, just the awareness, the attention, what you are aware of. And the soul or the awareness or the whatever you want to call it can only be recognized by you. Peace. The peace that surpasses understanding. <laughs> to me, it's just stillness, it's just quiet. It's not needing anything else to be any different to what it is right now. That's what it is. To not... Not need you to be any different to how you are right now. And, you know, there's programming in, in the mind that says, well, you know, we should be different because... We're not quite there yet. Or I wonder when we're ever gonna get there. And and questioning and uh, I suppose judging judging things that you do. Your own mind is judging what you do. And there's 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 the the different parts of the mind, the different thoughts, you say. One thought says, oh, this is a great idea. It's fantastic. The other thought's like, why did you do that? You're such an idiot. Both, both thoughts are choice. And both, both thoughts, I guess, deserve that attention. And, and if, if you want that experience, to be at peace with both thoughts will recognize that you are not either. You're not the, the thoughts, the emotions. And to recognize that, well, there's, there's a shift. Once, once you know that, once you realize and recognize that, there's a shift inside that happens in which the thoughts that you don't give your attention to start to dissolve they start to fade away and let's just say that before they fade away completely, there is kind of the fight. So those thoughts were an idea of who you were. That idea of who you were has, um, I guess you've given it, you've given it life. That idea and, and that that life can kind of get stuck in the body. Um, energy, I suppose, that those ideas are energy in your body and those 
those ideas, I guess. Maybe you're clinging to those ideas, you know, maybe you're clinging to those emotions as part of your identity. And when that those emotions come in again, and you recognize, well, there's those emotions again. Those emotions might be, might change into thought patterns, and then thought, the thought patterns might say, okay, I need to feel scared because of this reason. You know, and it's your choice to believe, I guess, that's that's the mind, that's how it works, emotions, and then we've attached thought patterns to those emotions, and then to recognize that, to recognize those patterns is how, it's how we dissolve patterns it's just so simple and so a lot of people get scared of this idea because then they they, they feel a fear of of loss well 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 if I'm not this you know emotionally I don't know let's just say shame say so shame okay so shame's a fear okay so if I don't feel ashamed feel ashamed of myself because I X Y Z, um, you know. Some people feel shame for breathing, for being alive. They, you know, they get around in a in a state of shame where they feel like they owe something to everybody around them, and because of um, the person that they are but think that they think that they are, so they're constantly trying to people please and trying to get that approval from people. You know, so there's just a pattern. Simple as that. And you see this pattern. And if you're ready to let that go, it's as simple as choosing to be here. when it's triggered just be here recognize a pattern there could be different lots of different ideas and for, for myself I sense a presence a presence of The soul. You know, that's what I see it as. I see it as the soul. As a presence that I see right now. All around me. <laughs> and it's a presence. And for years I looked at it and I thought it used to freak me out because I used to think, well, what is that looking at me? It feels like some, you know, you know that feeling where you feel like something's watching you? Well, I'll let you on a little secret. If you're ready for it, that's you. That's a bigger, that's your soul. That's your, you're bigger than your body. You're bigger than the outside of your body. You, you, you can expand out. So the presence, which is aware of, okay, let's just say the presence that is aware of everything. So it's aware of your... <laughs> existence is smiling back at you and what happens is when we feel that is somebody's watching me something watching me and we freak out because our ego our mind has taught us you know from movies and from from people that we've known that oh there's something watching me and oh i need to be afraid of it type deal and you know you feel like something's looking at you it's it's simple it's 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 the presence it's the strong presence of your of you your 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 soul you know it's that and the part of you that fears that is the part of you that feels small the part of you that feels small and insignificant and is scared of 
this scary thing that you know that's there looking at it and there's 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 different perspectives and there's also different ways to dissect that as well and there's there is actually we can tie um, we can tie fear up into that and we can believe that fear and we can attract you know we can attract uh, energy that isn't ours as well we can do that you know like we can track uh, what we call spirits and things you know they're energy they're just energy and we don't need to fear that shit and I guess if you want to go into that that side of things and, and understanding that the, those energies I guess we give those energies power we are that presence we are that strength we are you know, and they're, they're things that we've been taught not to recognize, like stillness. So if you look, if you if you if you notice and recognize this presence, and you're willing to recognize that that's that's what you are, well, you'll also start to accept the parts. You know, the the parts of the ego, of the personality, of the mind, and the body, because you start to appreciate these things because you recognize that. If you're not the body, you're not the ego, you're not the mind, the personality, it's all interchangeable. And in that presence, which is quite simply to be present, to, to stay in this moment. Simple. So simple. Stay in the moment. Be present. When these triggers happen, breathe through them. Or whatever it is you want to do. There is no rules. There is no rules, and other people are going to say, oh, that's because you're afraid of this and you're afraid of that. Well, it's up to you whether you believe them or not, but you don't have to. You can simply choose to let the body do what the body has been designed to do, which is release shit. You know, it gets us from A to B as well. You know, we, it gets us through our day. And <clears throat> a lot of the times, those some of those emotions can be quite painful. They can be... You know, shames and shit. You know, shames are, are painful emotions. To feel shame, you feel um, shame. You feel like you know. You feel like you should feel bad for just breathing. You know, that's the trigger of shame, and it's bullshit. It's bullshit. And what we what we don't realize is that shame, that that emotion of shame. Is just an emotion. It's just a bit of energy. It's been triggered up by the mind because the mind doesn't know any better. And, you know, possibly um, there could be situations that are triggering that, but it's at the end of the day, it's allow yourself to, to be present through it all. Accept it all. This is life. We don't have a great deal of time here. We're really not here for that long, you know. And do you want your emotions to run your life? Do you want... I mean, yeah, it's it's great to be in touch with your emotions. Allow your emotions. However, the stories that we've attached to the emotions are bullshit. They're shit. We have nothing to be ashamed of. You know? And the people that, I guess, are out there, there are people that do shit that is bad. And they don't feel shame. They don't feel remorse for what they do. That's, well, that should scare you, not, not, not you feeling shame. If you feel the shame, you can release it. If you feel the shame, it's just quite simply, it's a shameful trigger. There it is, shame trigger. Move on with your life. Don't dwell on it. You don't have to buy into the shit. Because a lot of the times, those patterns have been, I suppose, programmed into you by people that wanted you to feel shame because they like it. You know, maybe they get off on it. Maybe they get off on that control that they can trigger you subconsciously, you know, emotionally, to feel bad about yourself. And they don't have any right to do that. 
and they they really don't. And when you think about it, how sad is that that they 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 try to control another human being for their own to get off on it. How sad is their fucking life, you know? So you can if you recognise those triggers and you know recognize that they probably aren't your stories that that are attached to that emotion it's probably not even your emotion a lot of the time a lot of the time that we we imit we uh um imitate we imitate other people we see someone's face and and they're angry right so then we should we trigger it triggers us to feel shame because somebody else is angry i need to feel shamed how the fuck does that work in a, you know, in a world where we where we want to be, I guess, our best selves? We can't get around dealing and being attached to these stories of shame and having people around us that just want us to feel like that because they're angry. Well, I need to feel shame, or because they are sad because some people they'll they'll uh, they'll feed off sympathy, you know, and sympathy is not empathy. Sympathy is quite simply, I want your, I want all of your attention, and you know it pisses some people off to hear this, but a lot of the times, yeah, people do need a hand out, yeah, and a hand up, I should say, and to help each other, you know, to help each other. But there are people that get around and and they they manipulate and use other people using sympathy. Feel sorry for me, don't leave me because. Because, you know, and, uh, and, you know, and, and a lot of the times it can be, it can be a better move to leave, you know, and they, they just, they're using their, all these tactics to try and control you, you know, and unfortunately people do do this, so recognize it and, you know, make the choice if you see if you see this, call it out. You can call it out. Say, so look, I understand how you feel. However, I need to start focusing on myself. You know, and a lot of the times, a lot of these patterns are designed to keep the attention away from you. They're designed to keep the attention on the other person. So, you know, Sometimes it can help to to separate yourself from those situations and start focusing on you. And when the shame comes because you're focusing on you, tell it to fuck right off. Because you deserve your own love, your own presence, your own energy. Start bringing your attention to the present. And when these thought patterns and these uh, emotional patterns are there, just let them be there. And it's as simple as recognizing those patterns, you know. And um, take some time to learn to quiet the mind. We, we run around and we, we do exercise all day and we, we think, 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 think about everything. It drives us nuts. But we have within our power to learn to quiet the mind. And there's, there's all sorts of different things we can do to quiet the mind. There's, I don't know, exercise, go for a walk. Use your body to get your, get your attention. Put your attention in your body. Take your attention away from the thoughts. And when I say the thoughts, they're the images as well. The images, the scary images that pop into your mind, you know. Um, yeah, they try and they try and get your attention. They're just images and they do try and get your attention. And we give them the attention and we give those images the power. And then all, all of a sudden, a lot of the times, that we are that powerful, we create that that um, the fear that we believed, I guess, in that within that image, things things manifest, things come into physical reality that are scary like that, you know, and 
and uh, it's as simple as turning our attention away. We pull our attention away. So, and and this this is the tricky part. If it's going to be tricky, this and there's only one step. One step. Recognize the pattern. Be present. Be present is all of these steps. To stay present is quite simply to take your attention and put it here. Be okay with the emotions that are there. They will be uncomfortable. That's okay. Recognize that they're just patterns. They're just patterns playing out. And understand that once you do this, to choose to do this in every single moment every single moment and it takes that dedication to do it in everyday life because there's so many things that want your attention there's so many things out there that want look at this fly he's flying around my face he, he you know he wants you know um he's just chilling out he's flying around my head and uh, i guess we're conditioned. Look at that fucking fly. He's flying around. Look what he's trying to do. He's trying to... This bastard. You know, and you can get real angry with the fly. And Oh my God, I hate flies so much. Go get the fly spray and kill the fly. There's one reaction. Or... Recognise that the emotional trigger of hate towards a fly. Yeah, it sounds silly, but it's hate. Hate's hate. So it's anger... That's, that's been suppressed is hate. Anger that's not expressed. So yeah, if you want to scream at the fly and tell it to fuck right off, we'll do that. If that's what makes you feel better. It's just... <sighs> Recognise the patterns. Whatever they are for you. And you, you, you see it so much. You know, it, it, can be a, it can be a day where everything's going pear-shaped. Everything's going to shit. And, you know, the kids might be yelling and things might be happening. Phone calls, bad news, you know, these things are happening. And then a fly lands on the tip of your nose and you just think, fuck, how dare that fly <laughs> land on my nose. Right now, it's trying to cause me trouble. This fly, I swear, I'm going to destroy it. <laughs> and you know, when, if you, if that happens, if it, if that happens, that is triggered, you can recognise that pattern and allow yourself to take a breath. And like I said, to understanding, understand the the soul. The soul guides in every single moment. So if you're going through some shit, as hard as it is to hear, it may be what's needed for you to to let go, you know, to grieve, to face some shit, to face the emotional patterns that you've been clinging to. And what we, we, we don't actually cling to the emotion, we cling to the resistance to the emotion. So we cling to the ideas that we don't want to feel that emotion, that we don't want to experience that emotion. We hold on to it. This, these, these ideas. You know, and the ideas are just what we, once we become aware of some of these things, and how we're doing it to ourselves, we can let go. We can let go of everything if we want. Like I said, we're the presence. We are that stillness, and that peace that surpasses all understanding. We can't understand with our with our human minds exactly the depth of what the soul is. We can experience it in each present moment, though. If we choose, we can experience... A stillness, you know, a stillness that's wrapped around the emotions. An awareness, a presence that is there, looking back at us, you know, and we can allow 
the feeling of being watched because we're watching ourselves. We can allow that, that feeling, that presence, there's something there watching me. Yes, it's you, you know, it's you. Why is it, I guess, you know, it's hard to believe because I guess a lot of these stories that we keep telling ourselves, we believe. They're, they're our beliefs. You know, and there's some of those surface beliefs that are there, the simple ones, you know. Um, you know, the old wives' tales and things that we've been taught. And those things, they're, they're easy to let go, those little things. As we experience different situations, where our willingness to let go is, the, is just the beginning. And, and we, our willingness to let go, and we can do that. Um, uh, what's the process? It's called manifesting, I think, where you can sit there and observe the thoughts and, and allow nicer thoughts and imagine your life as you want it and feel it and experience it within the meditation or the when you sit um, some people call it prayer you know there's all different words for it simply taking time for yourself quiet the mind and then so you surrender that that idea and all the rest of it and you trust the soul because the soul like I said is that presence and it's capable of bringing you anything you want in time when the time is right for you and the thoughts that oh shit it's never going to happen for me or when is this going to happen or when am I going to do this and when am I going to do that and I guess they're, they're, they're the patterns they're the beliefs and we can choose to be at peace with those thoughts and those um those emotional triggers and things. And we can surrender that, all of it, you know, we can surrender all of it because the soul, that presence, the deeper part of who you are, um, that peace is, is in control. And it's just, I guess, the past self and the, the past ideas of yourself and the, the, the shames and the, the, the hate and the guilt and all the shit. But the soul knows that's not you. The soul is, is reflecting, reflecting to you what to let go of in each moment, each present moment. We look around and there's situations and there's things. We can recognize when we're in these patterns, whether it be emotional patterns a thought pattern whatever and that's how simple it is and when I say it's simple it's simple to make the choice and then to surrender to what comes well the form that it comes in may not, not may not be the the form that, the the way that you wanted it to you know so if you want to be at peace, well, and you start to make that choice to, to, to focus your attention inward and on yourself and whatever modality or way that you choose to do that, spirituality, you know, um, some people say, well, if you do this, you're more spiritual and, and etc. well, you know. We are all that. We all exist within within spirit. A whole lot of us. All of us. We all exist within spirit. Some of us resist it. And, you know, a lot of the times they may be the people you want to stay away from. You know the people I'm talking about. And then there are other people that, I guess you could say, allow, emerge with it. I don't know. There's all different. But it's quite simply the presence that we are can dissolve all energy. It can dissolve 
So if, if all emotions and thoughts and things are all energy, well, pres the presence, to be present, to stay present in this moment right now and cho choose that. Choose that again and again and no matter how hard it gets. To choose that. And even if you accept that you can't accept it. If it's that painful um, because the ego death, the, the death of the old self can be painful. It can hurt. Because we're, we're, we're clinging and we're tensed up and we're holding on to that old energy and just that emotional pattern, you know, and we can, we're clinging to it because if that's gone, well, then who are we? You know, if the shame's gone, well, who are we then? Do I think I'm too good? Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to think I'm too good. I don't want to think I'm better than everybody else, you know. These types of bullshit stories that, and yeah... You are. You may be too good, you know, for for certain situations. You may you may deserve respect, and and um, you know, and that doesn't mean that you think you're too good or better than other people. That just means it's your fucking choice. It's your choice. The the people because some people do use that as a guilt thing. You know, it's, they'll they'll say you're you know you're too good for me or whatever. Uh, you think you're too, you think you're better than me and, and try and get you to, to feel guilty about looking after yourself or going in the direction that you want to go in and you know, it just holds you back I guess it can hold us back to, to believe this shit at the end of the day no one is any better or any less than anybody else and to recognise that most of the time is to recognise that you're not less so the story could be, um, I don't want to think I'm too good. I don't want to be the tall poppy. I don't want to be, I don't want to stand out because then people don't like that. People don't approve of me. You know, all this shit. At the end of the day, we're, we're here to shine. We're here to radiate. We're here to fucking scream out on top of the hilltops and frolic around in the, in the, in the beaches and, you know, have fun in our life. We're here. And if people don't like it, fuck them. Simple. It's quite simple. And, uh, you know, I suppose to, and like I say, it's not all, it's, it's not all about frolicking around. You know, there are, there is the adversity and, and the recognition that, um, when we get knocked down in tough times and we get back up again and we achieve you know, we have a personal realization. Fuck, look, I got through that. I made it through it. And, well, I did that by myself. I did that by myself. I didn't need um, what I thought I needed. You know, I had all I needed to do it by myself. And then you can you can appreciate the help that other people give you and not need it. You know. Those those types of uh, those types of realizations and things that that uh, those you know those adverse times. Well, it's like the going through the storm, and on the other side there's the the sun that's shining through, and you're like fuck, I just got through that, and you get to the other side of it, and it's just beautiful. You're at peace with it. You think, fuck, there's nothing that can touch me. There's nothing that can knock me down now after I've been through that. And life can, I suppose, uh, have some have some interesting ways of showing you these 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 things that that uh, we carry within our energy because we attract whatever's in our energy. So instead of looking at, okay, so why is that person doing this to me? You could look at, well, what do I believe about myself, which I allow that person to treat me less than I deserve. Simple as that. And it could be an emotional energy that's there. Like, you could just feel shame. And like I said, people that feed off shame, they feed off it, they enjoy it. So there's people that are, that are like that. They'll like that you're carrying that. Maybe you might, mightn't realize you're carrying some of that shame or how you're carrying it. And understand it in those those patterns, and or how they let go of it. And do you want to let go of it? Because 
if you let go of that. And you don't attract people that, I guess, feed off the shame or the, the people that, that enjoy your, enjoy watching you secretly, enjoy watching you, I suppose, suffer because they get off on it, right? If you stop attracting people like that, well, you no longer have, you'll no longer have, um, you know, some of those, those deeper patterns like the victim mentality. You won't, I guess, be able to, you won't have that part of your identity anymore where you're the victim. I don't know what to do. I need to rely on other people because I feel like this. Well, I need somebody to help me feel better, etc. And, you know, understanding that maybe to let go of that is to, is to, to say to yourself, those parts of yourself, those parts of those, those mind patterns of the ego, as I, as I say, the, the personality, to say to that, well, I'm not going to be the victim anymore. Maybe I'm going to stand up for myself. Maybe I'm going to fight. Maybe I'm going to not fight the person, because fuck the person. You know, they're not worth your attention. It's, it's recognize the pattern. You'll fight. I guess you're having like a little, little battle within yourself. Do I deserve that? No, I don't. You don't. And recognizing the story or the emotion that might be there. Okay, so there's shame there. That's underneath that story. And the story is what's going to keep the shame there. So if you let go of the, the story, the shame's going to want to come out, isn't it? It's going to want to release. You're going to want to get rid of it. And underneath the shame, what's underneath there? Well, the fear of, of that loss of that part of that identity, and then the victim mentality, I guess, where you're attracting people that are going to, you know, trigger those things. What's under that? Well, when that dissolves, when that old uh, those old patterns dissolve, what's there? What do you need to be there? What do you want to be there? Maybe there's a deeper part of yourself there. Maybe there's a more expressive part of yourself. Maybe there's a more, you know, uh, a more assertive part of yourself where when somebody's um, nasty to you, you speak at them, you know, you speak to them, say, look, fucking stop it, you know, I don't like that, and if you can't get it out of that situation, you pull them up, stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself, um, there could be that, or there could be the, the, the non-attachment, non -attachment. so you're not attached to that story anymore, so you just get up and fucking leave. You don't need those people around in your life if you don't have to have them in your life, you know, um, if that's what you want to do. And then there's the other option, the other option, which is this my emotion that's inside, that is triggered right now, is my emotion. I'm going to own it. I'm going to release it. I have nothing to be afraid of. I have nothing to be ashamed of. I have nothing to prove. I can choose to allow myself to accept this moment right now. I can allow that, I don't know, peace, love, acceptance, you know, that, that presence. Of this moment. To be just as it is. I don't need this moment to be any different. No matter what anyone outside of me does. This moment is as it is. As it is. So I'm not going to resist this moment. I'm going to learn from this moment. And I'm going to move forward in the direction that I want to go in. Not the direction in which I fear. And I can choose that. 
because I'm getting stronger in each moment. Each time I choose to, to let go of those old patterns, I get stronger. I get stronger because I, I guess you go through the process of being knocked down, the ups and the downs, and I always get back up. And I'm, I'm stronger. So it's, it's like a, an ego death and then the rebirth. You know, if that's what you want to call it. And you get up stronger and you get up and you radiate. You know, you radiate out. You're a, you're a much, much stronger personality. You're a much stronger body, you know. You can quiet your mind, quiet the emotions, etc. In any present moment, any moment, no matter what anyone else does or anything that's happened around you, you can be at peace. You're not afraid of the emotions. You're not afraid of the thoughts because they're just thoughts. You don't have to believe them. Okay? And the emotions come up. And you can you can uh, you can self inquire. You can look in and say, okay. What is that emotion? And you identify it. And once you've identified it, quite simply, you let it go. <laughs> you know, you don't give it so much attention because, well, is it you? No. You're the presence. You're, you're the soul. You know, you're, you're that awareness. And the more attention, I guess, you give that, that presence and that awareness, the fears just dissolve, you know. Well, you don't get attached to the, the, the fears and the emotions because you know that that's just part. It's just part of it. You're not, that's not all of you, you know. You're all, you're more. More. You're more than just the body and the mind. You're also and more primarily the presence. You're the space in which it all exists. You're the space which allows all of all of it to be known, you know? You're the there's uh you know, in spirituality and etc. I mean, I, I know, I've met, like I said, I've met a lot of different people that have all different types of spirituality and religions, etc. and things. And I guess to recognize that presence can only be experienced in this moment right now so literally right now right now you can take your attention away from the thoughts you can put them inside your body can't you you can choose to do that you can put them inside your body you can take your attention, you can put it on the sounds around and just listen and put your attention there. You know, there's infinite places that we can put our attention in every moment. We've been, I guess, the soul, um, we've been given everything that we need to 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 be at peace in each moment it's just and we've got the free will as well we've we've come to this come onto this earth and we were born and all this sort of stuff and and we um we're born with that choice we were born with that that presence we we're born with that uh you know we were born with that um The choice. We're born with the uh, 
I guess the right, I suppose you could say. Maybe not the right word, but the right to choose. We just didn't realise we can choose the we can choose to accept all those parts. Everything everything that comes up in the present moment. And we can choose to let go of any of those parts we choose to let go of. And we've been given the tools. We've been given the tools. To do that. In the present. We've also been given this gift called the mind. The gift the mind, the mind, the ability ability to put our attention on, I guess, the, the, the energies that exist there already, which are the thoughts and the emotions and the, the images, etc., and the things, you know. And there's also, as you do this and you let go of these older thoughts, the new ones come in, don't they? Sometimes they just seem to appear from nowhere. They just come in. And you have these epiphanies or these um, realizations, etc. You know, like, wow. Wow. You know, something that you may have believed for all this time, and then it's, you know, you realize that, fuck, it's all been shit. It's been bullshit. You've been, um, I suppose, you know, I'm not going to say lied to because the people that, that taught you some of these things believed them. So. <laughs> It's just about you. It's your choice. You can it's your choice to believe whatever you want. There is no. There is no uh, right or wrong way to spirituality. And any of those thought patterns that say, "Well, you're doing it wrong. There's something not right here. You fucked it up. You're never going to figure this out." They're just your patterns, you know, they're, <laughs> they're your patterns. And you'll feel the shame. If you believe that shit, you'll feel the shame that'll be triggered and the, the shame will come up and the shame will take over you and become you. You know, you become the shame and you're like, oh, I've done something wrong. You know, you're back to that, that scared little personality. You've forgotten the truth of, of you, you know, the... The bigger truth, the the freeing truth, the peace that surrounds you everywhere, in throughout your body, outside of your body, that presence is you. You know, you forget it. And those beliefs have been that, I suppose, um, ingrained, or they've been there for thousands of years. You know, and. At this point, we're all, we're at a pivot point, where it's just time. And you'll notice more and more people that, you know, all right, uh, I guess they just want to find peace, you know, they just want, just want to enjoy life. They just want to let go of all the shit. They just don't want to carry all the drama and the bullshit anymore. And you might notice some of those people and you might learn some things off them. And you, you know, they, they might learn some things off you and, you know, to, to let go of some of these things, to let go of some of these beliefs and, and, and to, to recognize that deeper self or that, that emptiness, you know, there's another one, emptiness, the black, the darkness, you know, there's the darkness in the, uh, that experience as well, the blackness, nothingness, things that, I guess, the old belief systems are, are the old parts of that personality are scared of the darkness, but there's nothing to be afraid of, it's 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 the the mind is afraid to experience the I suppose just that fear of of feeling afraid and nothingness. Well, the mind's told us that we you know some people have beliefs. I am nothing. I am nothing. I'm worthless, etc. And their beliefs. 
we've attached emotions of shame to that. So when I, when you, if you ever catch yourself saying, I am nothing, and that emotion that's there, that's triggered shortly after that, is, is the shame. And like, like I said, we've, we just entertain it. It's bullshit because you're not nothing. You're not nothing. And you are, I guess, just more. You are love. You know, you are peace. You are love. You are acceptance. You are. expansive and like I said the soul God so you it's like the the old past self wants to control and the soul is guiding the soul is saying no you need to let go of it and if you don't let go of it you're gonna get more of it because because you're attracting you're attracting it so I guess your soul like I said dichotomy it's it's one thing um, but it's also two things at the same time. So it's, you know, the mind says, what the fuck is he talking about? Well, quite simply the awareness. And so the awareness is always aware of the body, the mind and everything that's outside. And the awareness is ever present. It's always now. The soul is now. And to stay present, you can only do that now. And then the thoughts come in. And you recognize the thoughts. And you bring yourself back to the now. And start directing your attention to the present again. And you just keep bringing the mind back. Bring it back to the present. Bring it back to the present. Because the mind, it believes that something is going to happen in the future that's better than now. Well, we're fucking live now. And I guess the... Part of the the realizations of life is to have appreciation for the simple things and being alive is the, is a good place to start. Okay, I live for another day. I'm alive again. I didn't die yesterday. You know, I'm getting older, but I got to have another day. As opposed to other thought patterns, which are, oh my god, I'm going to die. Oh my god. Yeah, we all are going to die. All of us. Everyone around you is going to die. You're going to die. It's just in this moment, we can dissolve the fear of that. We can dissolve the, the fears of the fear by <laughs> simply accepting. Accepting and allowing the patterns to just be there. If we, you know, to... Uh, to recognize the patterns, is, I can't really put it any other simpler, any other, any simpler to recognize the patterns and don't dwell on the patterns and, and become present again. Bring yourself back in, center yourself or <sighs> take a breath. It's okay. And recognize that this moment right now is magical it's fucking precious have a look around you have another look at things around you look at the uh the judgments that i guess the mind has has labeled things you know and and we can look at the th and question it don't fight with it just look at it and observe it you don't have to have an argument with your own mind you can just just look at the uh the thoughts and question and have a realization that well maybe you know, a different point of view is needed there <laughs> because um, like I said a lot of the, the thoughts have emotional attachment so you have the thought 
and you believe it, you're going to have the emotion that's that's there, so which can cloud, you know, it can cloud us, and we can prevent us from enjoying the the simple things and and people around us that are, you know, that are um, important to us, you know, and other, like I said, the other stories that are attached to different emotions, we can cling to the people that aren't good for us. We can cling to them because we believe what they believe about us. We believe that, or they might believe that, that we need them. And then they're getting us to believe that we need them. When in truth, and that's up to interpret, interpret, uh, personal interpretation experience. We, instead of needing other people, we can just enjoy them. We can enjoy them for who they are and what they are. And not having that, uh, that, uh, those expectations of, of needing something from somebody. And, and those thoughts that, um, you know, we might fear of losing that person, etc. And to let go of those things, then we can experience the person in more depth, you know, when we are, when they are around, well, we, we experience them, we appreciate them, we, and say, and that goes for the same for us as well, you know, when we're by ourself, by ourself, you know, there is nobody around, we can learn to appreciate ourself, all the parts, let go of all the shit that, 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 um, tells you there's something wrong with you, or there's, you need to get angry with yourself, or there's, something not right about this moment because every single moment like i said is guided by your soul and trust that trust it every single moment trust come back to trust 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 in a higher power whatever that you want to label that and recognize that you're part of that you are that you know and a lot of people can't stomach the the idea that they are a higher, a higher, the higher power, the higher power that people talk about in different situations and things, you know, you know, they don't feel worthy of that. Well, you are that. Whether you feel worthy of that or not, whether you feel the shame, you are that, you are that presence. You are much more than what you think. You know, and you can be at peace with that. You can let go of the stories that I need somebody else to feel good about myself. Well, yeah, it is great to have people around you that are supportive and, and, and all the rest of it. And there is the other aspect of that as well. You can have people around you that are doing things for you for a payoff. So, you know, they might do things for you so that you so that you are... You give them attention, you know, all of your attention. And, and, you know, just sometimes it's important that we hold our attention within. You know, and, and for me, it's it's the most important thing to hold your attention on these things that are going on internally. Internally. And it goes against what we've been taught. We've been taught to look externally, outside, and in blame and in... Oh my God, I can't believe that's happening. Well, it's happening, mate. You know, accept it. Do something about it. And you can redirect your attention away from all of those thought patterns and back to the present. You know, and it just it just takes you to do that and to choose that. It it takes you to a place of peace. It takes you to a takes you deeper into this moment deeper into this moment and you know you might surprise yourself and uh, it's just so simple and when I say simple the simplicity of allowing you know, each moment unfold as it as it does, 
without resisting it. Um, outside and inside. Is, is just that choice that we were born with. And the choice that we we came into this world with, we came into this world as, as little kids, as, as, as little kids with that. And we remember, just remembering, I suppose, remembering that we choose to be who we want to be. We choose to um, create ourselves in the image of our our best selves you know we create our best selves in the best image of of our our best self in our mind's eye you know in our mind's eye there's a there's a self there's an ideal self and that is you i mean that's you in this experience that's part of you i should say it's part of you and just don't allow yourself to be that let go of the fear. You know, you choose to choose to love yourself. Choose to love those you know, those parts that I suppose um, need your attention. So peace. <laughs>